What is happening guys? Welcome back to the Get Good Guide for Shadow of the Earth Tree. So you found yourself wandering over to Jagged Peaks. You found yourself climbing up this mountain. And you found yourself before this huge arena. Which is going to be what you're expecting to be a pretty monstrous dragon. And monstrous is pretty correct. I mean, I would say Placidusix is bigger, but nonetheless, this is a pretty monstrous dragon fight. Today, my friends, we have Bail. Bail the Dread. Now, right off the bat, I'm going to say, you know, if you don't like summoning for fights, do yourself a favor and you'll want to summon uh, Egon inside this arena. He'll be inside to the left. Just do it for the amazing voice acting. He gives you an amazing monologue while you fight this dude. Uh, he doesn't do much damage to the dude. He kind of draws att his attention a little bit, but he's mainly there just for the monologue. So if you're all about soloing games, you know, don't be afraid to summon the dude. He's not going to do all that much in this fight. He's just going to be a good time. Now, with that said, I am not going to summon, summon him today, though, just because I'm trying, I'm wanting to prove to you guys that you can do all these fights solo and do them all solo when, when you're not even a very good Souls player like myself. So, wow, are we going to take Tackle Bale? So, let's look at what we're going to use. We're going to use the Dragon Hunter's Great Katana. This thing was literally designed to, design, to beat Bale, so we're going to use this in this fight. And then for our armor, we're going to use the Tree Sentinel Helm, Tree Sentinel Armor, Tree Sentinel Gauntlets, Tree Sentinel Greaves... Uh, for the fire damage negation. Also great lightning damage too, which this thing will put out lightning as well as fire. For our talismans, we're going to be using the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman, the Pearl Drake Talisman plus three, the Two-Headed Turtle Talisman, and the Shard of Alexander. For our physic, we're going to be using the Crimson World Bubble Tier, which will convert damage received into HP, and the Opaline Hard Tier. So my best advice is to wait to use this physic till you're at the very, till you have just a little bit of health, till his health bar is at the very end. Uh, when he's starting to spam fire all over the place, this is when you should bring that out, because all that fire and lightning that he sprays at you is just going to give you health back. So let's talk a little bit about the Dragon Hunter's Great, Great Katana. The main reason we want to use this is for Dragon Wound Slash. We're going to be spamming this the entire fight. Uh, this is what this Katana was designed for, so we're going to be using that. I'm not even going to waste my time using quick attacks on this dude. Uh, whenever I get the opportunity, we're going to spam the Dragon Wound Slash and yield a monstrous amount of damage on him. When talking about Bale, there's two different ways to give damage to this dude. Uh, his head is the first place, you'll do a monstrous damage there. And the other place is his one leg is cut off. His left leg is actually bitten off from the Placidusix fight. Uh, so you can actually slash that leg, and if you get a couple heavy attacks on that leg, which is kind of hard to do, you can actually stagger Bale from that side. His first phase isn't going to be too bad. He's going to be doing normal dragon stuff, blowing fire at you, sw tail whips and stuff like that, slam on the ground, just, you know, do your best to dodge it. Second phase is when things get interesting and becomes the best cinema Souls game ever has ever had. Uh, literally, the best cinema will ever be playing during the second phase. Uh, this dude's going to spawn lightning wings out of nowhere. He's going to fly around the arena shooting fire at you. He's going to have fire beams, and you name it, he, this guy has it. He's going to have an attack that turns the whole arena into like a lava pit. It's, it's crazy. Uh, but in all honesty, though, this fight is not that bad. It's more of a fun fight than a bad fight. In terms of difficulty, I would put this on very close to par with the Dragon Lord Placidusix. I don't actually know which one I would say is harder. Uh, there's parts of Bale's fights that is harder than Plassey's, uh, but there's also parts of Plassey's fight that are way harder than Bale's, so that's kind of a draw. But our strat during this fight is going to be simple. It's going to be that. That, and lots and lots of rolls, and more of this. So that's all there is to it. Let's go take out Bale. Curse you, Bale. Now we've got Bale. So Bale, pop your physic before even going in, as you see I did there. So Bale, he's going to start out with a couple of different combinations. Zach. He could blow fire at you, do that jump attack like he did for me, or try rushing in to just try to eat you. Uh, those are his three things that he might try on you. Uh, we got pretty decent RNG on this on this fight. So here he's going to grab you, dodge about right when he... Right, like, as he starts to move forward, then dodge. If you dodge too soon, he's going to grab you with that attack. But actually, that attack's very easy to get away from. 
Uh, here also too, we're just taking advantage of the Dragon Katana. I don't think I use a diff. I don't think I use a normal attack this whole entire fight. I think I just use the Dragon Katana special skill on that. Uh, this katana was actually designed to kill Bale, so it makes sense to use that skill for Bale. And as you see, it does a lot of damage. Uh, we don't get any staggers in this fight, which I was kind of wishing we did because it's kind of cool to stagger Bale. Uh, but if for this attack, we just want to roll sideways when he calls up the lightning like that on the ground. He's going to, as he screams, you want to roll to the side on that. For here, he's going to do some tail whips. Those are just basic dragon attacks. Nothing straight crazy there. Uh, whenever you're in front of him, take a free attack. He's going to give you plenty of attack to get times to get an attack in before he does. Here, he's going to go into second phase. Get out of there. I don't know why I'm standing up so close. That was not smart. He's going to start flying off in one of the most cinematic soul scenes ever. Uh, dodge to the side on this to try to avoid all the fire coming at you, and then dodge forward into it as he comes down at you. Uh, here, play it safe. He's going to do a lot of different stuff here. He's going to go in for some smashes. Every smash is going to have an after attack too, so if you dodge one, always press dodge a second time before attacking. Here, he's going to constantly blow fire at the ground. Uh, do your best to get away from it. Uh, that's why we were in the Tree Sentinel outfit, to negate lots of that fire damage. It works a lot. Uh, when he does that, that's going to blow up the entire arena. Just get back, and you should be able to dodge it. That's actually not that hard of an attack to dodge, comp comparing how cool it is, actually, how it looks. Uh, here, we're just going to try to get in some attacks here without getting blown to pieces on fire. I can't believe I didn't get hit by that there. So here, as whenever that wing is glowing like that, he's going to strike you with it. So just keep an eye on that wing. That wing is going to come down, and sometimes he'll run into the ground three different times there. Uh, surprisingly, though, that's not that hard to dodge. The iframes are very forgiving there. Now, this attack is almost impossible to dodge. I have not figured out how to dodge this one yet. If you know how to dodge that, please put in the comments, because I have no idea how to dodge the fire flames that come out from there. Just such a cool attack. You're mesmerized by how cool it looks. But here he's going to just blow fire. If you ever get stuck with fire, lay on the ground. <laughs> just don't press get up until he's done blowing fire because you actually have iframes when you're lying on the ground. Uh, so yeah, just lay on the ground and you'll be okay. <laughs> that goes with any dragon. If you ever get knocked down during a dragon fight and you can't get back up the heel, just lay on the ground. Just keep laying on the ground till the fire cup, till he nat naturally gets back up and you'll have a little bit more iframes there. I'm just kind of playing it safe here, trying to wait for an opportunity to get some heavy attacks in there. As you see, I got one in there. I'm playing it safe also by being close to him. If we're too far away, he's going to do a lot more range stuff here. As you see, we just need one more hit. He's going to do one more final thing too. So here, we're going to dodge to the side, dodge to the side. Just keep dodging to the side in a circle and then dodge forward into him. And I got hit by that because I didn't time that right. You kind of want to do it as his foot hits the ground. You want to press dodge. And there we go. Not too bad of a fight. Uh, pretty fun cinematic fight, but nothing too crazy here. And that is Bale the Dread. I hope you guys summoned Egon and got to hear his amazing monologue, because that is just probably one of the best monologues ever in a video game. Uh, if you are struggling with that fight, though, a few things you can do. Uh, you can bring a shield into this fight. It will help a lot. Uh, obviously, the fingerprint shield will shut everything up to his down. You could also use the Black Holy Shield. You could use a Wolfcrest Great Shield. Uh, Verticus's shield works good, too. But... In all honesty, this fight works better if you just have two hands so you can really make the most out of the katana. Uh, when you can really get that full hit off, that's going to probably be the best bet. Uh, but with that, guys, if you got anything out of this guide today and it helped you, please give this video a like as it helps me. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.